Before his untimely death at the age of just 46, Rich Piana had become an icon in the fitness world. Renowned for his extreme workout routines, his iconic 5% slogan, and his brutal honesty. You're a tight, boring, you're not a go-getter, you're just someone that's not fun to be with. Rich Piana was a figure who commanded respect and attention. However, behind this ripped exterior hid a range of personal issues. His issues stemmed from his relentless drive and obsession to achieve an almost superhuman size, a goal that would ultimately lead to questionable life decisions and tragic consequences. To understand this enigmatic figure of the fitness world, we need to look deeper. Rich Piano was born and raised in Glendale, California and found his fascination with bodybuilding at a remarkably young age. He was taken to the gym for the first time by his mother, a professional bodybuilder herself, when he was just seven years old. Amidst the clattering weight of the body and power gym, Rich would be playing with his He-Man figures, but as he would look around, he would notice that there were living, breathing He-Men walking around with him inside the gym. He looked on in awe at the attention and respect they commanded, thinking about the life they lead. From this moment, he knew this was going to be his life and there was no way he wasn't going to become a professional bodybuilder, whatever the cost. In his own words, he was destined or screwed with this fate, as his early fascination with bodybuilding would manifest in extreme ways. This early admiration quickly turned into an obsession for Rich, who started weight training at just 11 years old with his mother. This allowed him to meet future close friend and fellow bodybuilder Bill Cambra. After training for four years with Bill and his mother, he entered his first bodybuilding competition at just 15 years old, an age at which most people are just starting to discover the gym. Although he didn't place in the competition, this experience sowed the seeds of what would become an unwavering pursuit of muscle mass. At just 16 years old, Bill Cambra sat Rich down and explained to him the birds and the bees of bodybuilding. He told Rich exactly what it takes to become a professional in this sport, something which not a lot of people get the opportunity to do. In 1989, just two years after this talk, Rich was taking steroids. He started a common cycle known as Test and Decca that combines testosterone and Decca Durablin. He later stated that the dramatic results he got from this cycle resulted in him getting hooked on them. Here he is at 18, looking like many people's end goal physiques. Unlike many influencers, Rich has been massively open about his steroid usage, something which became part of his personality and brand, allowing him to stand out in the crowd of dishonest bodybuilders. Rich's size and aesthetics meant he was winning shows around the country, winning NPC Mr. California in 1998 and multiple other regional and national competitions which boosted his name and status. Although he never won major international shows, he does have many regional and national trophies under his belt and was a serious competitor for a while. Outside of these shows, he began to start dipping his toes into traditional media, although didn't get too far. He made a cameo as the Incredible Hulk in an episode of Scrubs and was part of the goon squad that Walter White assembled in an episode of Malcolm in the Middle, although he didn't have any spoken lines in the show. It wasn't until the 2010s though that Rich experienced his biggest success. In 2011, Rich started his YouTube channel and would start to transform into the iconic figure we know him as, but his success would not come easy. It would take Rich two years to hit the 20,000 subscriber mark on YouTube. Definitely an impressive number at the time, but a shadow of the numbers he would have in the future. At the same time, he started his Instagram account under the handle at one day you may and made his first post in February of 2012. This was the beginning of his social media stardom as slowly but surely his posts gained more and more traction. His videos evolved from random interviews and footage, such as this one titled Hot Sexy Chick at Venice Beach Bikini Contest into actual motivational videos and structured vlogs with different workout routines. The most beautiful girl in the gym I've ever seen in Gold Fitness is here and I'm about to go up and talk to her. Yeah. And here she is, my striker. It allowed us to see a different side of the bodybuilders we were used to seeing and gave us an insight into what Rich as a person was like. He gave viewers a refreshingly open take about his steroid usage and was proving to be a fantastic role model for those who may not have had one in their lives. Something which bodybuilders like Noel Diazel are doing today. Now, I've been taking steroids for 25 years. I started when I was 18. 
This is not making me look good right here, what I'm saying, but I'm just being honest and I'm being straight and I'm telling people the truth. I'm not telling people to take steroids. I'm not recommending it. In fact, I don't think it's a very good fucking idea to take steroids, you know? If you can stay natural for as long as you can, that's the way to go. You stay natural. Rich, what you've put out in all your videos is that of a true role model. Honest, logical, and you say it how it is. Some examples of Rich's insane workouts include his infamous eight hour arm workout, which promises to permanently add an extra inch on your arms after you've finished with this grueling challenge. And it's made up of 16 mini workouts every half an hour throughout the day for eight hours straight. By 2014, he had gained around 200,000 subscribers on YouTube and was continuing to grow his Instagram account alongside this. Seeing the potential for more growth, he launched his brand 5% Nutrition based on his now infamous slogan and mindset. To be in the 5%, you're in the small community of people who will do whatever it takes in order to be the best. To prove you a part of this, you can buy an array of 5% merch, including the famous 5% milk jug. This rule is what Rich lived by, but it may well have been his undoing. By 2015, Rich had left humanity behind. He went from clean-shaven, well-proportioned bodybuilder into a tattooed muscle monster. <laughs> Fans noticed his change in appearance over the years and people started to question whether he looked better now or in his previous years. Despite the criticism, Rich powered on, choosing to continue his extreme body modifications, a choice he knew came with dire consequences. And it was incredibly painful and it's very hard to train. You, you're almost guaranteed gonna have to take some painkillers while you train because it's so painful. At one point, Rich was spending over $8,000 a month on steroids, a ridiculous sum of money which showed just how deep his obsession to becoming a bodybuilder had become. Despite this vast sum of money Rich spent, it wasn't enough, and he felt as though he had to get bigger through other means. Now, what is Synthol exactly? Because I keep hearing that uh, Synthol keeps coming up all the time in bodybuilding today. Do you talk about it at all? Is it, is it yeah. Rich has admitted that he used oil, otherwise known as synthol, in order to grow his arms artificially. Synthol doesn't add strength, and it's only used for a visual increase. The consequences of using synthol can be catastrophic, with cases of synthol abuse ending in death after bodybuilders have accidentally injected synthol into their main arteries. But Rich still felt as though this risk was worth it. Some people see this as a turning point in Rich's story, as this was when he shifted from standard steroid abuse in the more extreme methods of pushing his body to its absolute limit. The abuse of his body continued and one of the most insane stories about Rich occurred. According to his girlfriend at the time, he had built such a tolerance to pre-workout and caffeine, he actually needed to start snorting lines of pre-workout before a gym session. His girlfriend also accused him of having an opiate addiction, however there's not too many other sources to confirm this. This would all come to a head in 2017. At 1.30pm on August 7th, Rich would collapse in his home while receiving a haircut from his girlfriend. As he collapsed, he fell and slammed his head off a piece of furniture when he fell. She attempted CPR until the paramedics arrived, who after getting his heartbeat back to normal, concluded that too much time had passed and his brain was beginning to suffer from a lack of oxygen. They found white powder on the table and gave him drugs which helped him with opioid overdoses. However, his girlfriend later told them that this was the pre-workout he was snorting. Rich was taken to hospital and kept in an induced coma for over two weeks in an attempt to ease the swelling of his brain. Unfortunately, this was not enough and Rich Piana was pronounced dead on the 25th of August 2017, aged just 46 years old. In the days prior to his death, his girlfriend had noted that he was experiencing symptoms such as a shortness of breath and feeling lightheaded, early warning signs of a cardiac arrest. Rich's autopsy revealed that he'd been suffering with significant significant heart disease. His heart and liver both weighed over double the amount of a normal male, which was due to the abuse they had sustained over the years. Despite this, the autopsy revealed that his cause of death was inconclusive. 
Although Rich died so young at 46, he has left a lasting legacy. He has created a cult following of people who still live by the mentality that only the 5% of people have what it takes to be the top of their discipline. Although he spent years subjecting his body to rigorous routines and steroid abuse, Rich Piana strongly advocated against following his path unless absolutely necessary. He believed that those who could achieve their goals without resorting to steroid use should abstain from it. His story is a beautiful tragedy. A man who dared to push the boundaries of human physicality, who succeeded in building a fitness empire, but paid the ultimate price for his ambition. If you like this video and you want to see more about fitness icons, click on one of the videos on your screen now and I'll see you in the next one.